Hello, Aquarius. It is time. You're reading for November of this current year, which is 2018. And then I'm going to fuck it up when it's 2019, which is why I like saying current year instead. Anyway. Oh, hello. Need some recovery and recuperation? I gotcha. Seems like you guys have been having it really rough. Which sucks, you know, like... Mind you, I got an Aquarius moon, so, like, I can totally understand where you guys are coming from, for the most part. Or at least I can understand your thought processes sometimes, but I'm not really that good with it. Especially with my Sagittarius rising, because then it's just, like, contradiction, right? Um, if some of you are dealing with a cancer, and you feel like you're at a crossroads with them because they're being insensitive... Or do you feel like you're being overly sensitive and you don't know what to do to fix that? You might be even hanging on to see if, like, someone will go back to being, um, upright. Just at that crossroads and you might be lashing out a little bit with it, too. You might not be able to take a joke for a minute, either. You know, might feeling a little bit, um, self-conscious, I feel like. No, I like the community of tarot because everyone can read each other's cards and see what everybody else has to say. And it's like, ooh, this is kind of cool. Not that I do that to get, like, a use of what I'm reading, but it's just kind of like, it's nice to hear what everybody else has to say about what's going on. Are you, some of you looking for, like, renewals of the past to bring into the future? Possibly. Which isn't a bad thing, really. Like, if you can incorporate someone from the past or something from the past to your benefit, that's absolutely awesome. Aquarians are very strange creatures to me, I swear, you know, right? Like, they, they have this great ability to bring people together, together. I don't know why I still can't talk. It's been like three days, right? They have a great ability to bring people together. Which usually gets stalled out because it feels like some of you are getting stuck in wherever it is you are, like you can't move forward. It could also be a Sagittarius Leo Aries. Maybe you feel like there are delays in movement and shit, right? But like with Aquarians, right? It's like they're really good at bringing people together, but eventually it always turns to drugs. It's like dealing with the Sagittarius, but going backwards on the same path, you know? Like, you start out with drugs, and then you become friends with the Sagittarius. But with an Aquarius, it's like... You become friends, and then it goes to drugs. It's kind of like the um, movie that Macaulay Culkin was in, like, uh... Talking about... This club that was owned by this guy that used to do, like, this weird, like rave parties, but then it got really dark and then there were murders and drugs everywhere. I, I, I can't remember what it's called. I know someone here is going to know what it is. Like, I believe in you guys. See? Even my cards believe in you. But someone knows the name of the movie I'm talking about. Because I remember watching the documentary. And at first everything looked fun and then at some point they were showing like video footage of people looking dead and like tubs full of black icky stuff and blood and it's just like this isn't as fun as it looked like before this looks like a murder scene and i don't know how comfortable i am with it but someone here is going to know the name of that movie and i really want to know what it is i'm totally curious i might even throw in a thunderdome for you guys if i get it i'll be that grateful Anyway, let's go on to your reading before my cards get frustrated because I'm getting excited. But I like talking to you guys. You guys are the only ones who really get what the fuck I'm talking about. Honestly. The only people who understand what Aquarius is honestly saying is another another Aquarius or someone with a lot of Aquarius or Moon and Aquarius in their charts. Okay, I'll start with you because, yeah. Someone's starting to get over a betrayal. But I feel like they're using it to boost their own ego a little bit, too. Some offers. Fear of having to surrender something or give something up. Ooh. 
beginning theme not really wanting to work something out or maybe you hate your job or like you know something could be going on right there so let me move you out the way let's see okay so like is something caused somebody to break out down here this could be gemini and let me tell you i've known a couple like five different couples of people all right the gemini and aquarius there is something with that dynamic i don't know what it is but a gemini <laughs> drives an aquarius insane but an Aquarius will never leave that because at least the Aquarius is like keeping them interested. They never really figure them out. So at least it's a unique experience. But it's like, oh my god. Driving them fucking insane. <laughs> but like, look, there's this dissolution. This could be an angry Gemini or some shit. But like, this is like a breakup of sorts. Like a dissolution of it. Like, I don't even know if I'm saying that word right. I've been saying it this entire time. But it's like, um... Two people could have separated for whatever reason. It doesn't have to be romantic, but it was a very strong connection. And someone's just now getting over this, but they're kind of using it for their advantage. Like, you know, putting the swords in themselves at this point in order to drive home that this is happening. Then we got, like, an offer that's being given out, either financial or otherwise. And it looks like a really good offer. What's but the problem is that there's a lack of patience. Maybe Sagittarius right here. Because this is their card. I feel like someone doesn't want to compromise. And that's like going against this offer that's coming up, right? And then over here we got someone who's afraid of like having people coming against them. Maybe having an enemy in their house or even surrendering to some group of people or whatever. And it's because they feel like all the options that they had are just aren't worth a damn anymore, right? Like, they aren't... None of it works out. And look, here's, like, the King of Wands. Someone's being really spoiled, really childish-like in all this. That'd be a fire sign, but I think it's more like the overall energy. Like, someone is not happy with how things have gone, like... I almost feel like somebody is going to play this up and ham it up, right? Like, oh, we broke up because you did this and just keep driving at home because they're impatient on, I feel like, something to do with this, right? Like, they don't want to work anything. <laughs> like, it, like, three of pentacles, right? Three of Pentacles with the King of Wands reverse. Just think about that. Someone who's desperately trying not to work on anything because, like, they don't want to surrender anything. It's like Aquarius. <laughs> like, you, you can't have your cake and eat it, too. You know, like, that's all I'm going to say. And I hate that saying because it's stupid. It's just like, it's my cake. Why can't I have it? But you understand what I'm getting. You can't have it both ways. I mean, like, look at this, like, there's, there, look at these, here are these lovers breaking up, here is an offer, I feel like it's from this breakup, and someone's looking at it, it's like, you know, oh, all these other offers or, or options or choices are just draining me more than they are, like, helping me out or giving me any sort of decisiveness in the situation, you know, like... I have all these options, and only one of them is ice cream, but all the ice cream tastes like ass. Or pistachio, and I hate pistachio. And it all has something to do with the past, like looking back at that, maybe even childlike stuff, right? That kind of sucks. So, you should perhaps try keeping that in mind. No whammies. Alright. So, Aquarius, you'll continue on with this. So, ooh. Someone is really stuck on that full ten of swords and just not letting it go. Ending theme. Knight of Cups reverse. Someone be really immature with their emotions and offering up some bullshit on the high ground. <laughs> Oh, I was talking to somebody about that. I think it was Capricorn, but, like, it's okay. 
Let's see. Definitely no one's going with there this anywhere with this lover. Someone doesn't want to leave. They don't give a shit if you broke up or not. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Someone does not give a damn if y'all have broken up or whatever's going on. Someone is just not leaving. Like someone doesn't want to go. There's delays in it. Um, or someone doesn't want to go ahead with the process. They're stalling. Because they're still really hung up on this whole like you did me wrong thing and they're just keep bringing it up but it's keeping them stuck in this horrible situation and someone's becoming very impatient with this whole like moving on the clear waters thing wanting to leave wanting to go because they're picking up that this offer is a little bit deceptive i feel like like this is like cancer or pisces right here but usually pisces for me right And, like, there's deceptive the factors, there's hidden feelings, there's, like, things in the background, but, like, someone's wanting an offer, possibly from a Pisces or a Cancer, or someone sees that there is an offer, but there's picking up that there's a catch with it, like, strings attached, right? And they're getting impatient and wanting to leave, but that's gonna go against them, that's not gonna work, because, like... All these options over here that they find out that, like, are no good is leaving them left out in the cold. And now they feel like they got to surrender to possibly a queen of pentacles, <laughs> which is like, you know. Hmm. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, someone who's needy. Someone who is um, expecting someone to take care of them. Doesn't have to be a female. But it's like... This person is... Definitely from the past, once again. It's like... It's like someone's afraid that they have to admit that they that somebody was right or concede to somebody, I, I reckon. That's the first card. Oh, that's the first two cards. Yeah, like, there was a missed opportunity on all this because there was a lot of delays and someone kept bringing this shit up. And this was a bad idea. <laughs> Losing patience about taking off to calmer waters and, like, this offer that might be for a Pisces or a Cancer or laced with some deception in it, that's a bad idea. Right? One more advice. A lot of people use way, way different cards. I like rotating through mine, but like, I can't do a bunch of cards in one reading. That's that's like way too dramatic to me. That's way too much cleanup for three different things. I don't know why I want to say that, but it's just like that's like I understand why people do it, but it's like two should be enough. But I do like how people incorporate all these different decks. You know, it like brings up ideas. You're like, ooh, maybe I could twist it like this, or twist it like that. Oh, yeah, and someone feeling left out in the cold because they've realized I think all these options are kind of, you know, shit, right? Like, they weren't as good as they originally looked, and now they feel like they got to surrender to a um, Queen of Pentacles, I feel like, that they don't want to. They're mentally struggling with that. They're mentally trapped with that. They do not like it one damn lily lamb bit. That is yours, Aquarius, and I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.